Hello, this is Daniel Tom Sandra Daly. This is a no hide sermon. Guns kill people. Guns kill people. Now, um, in the Torah, in Israel's Torah, the generation of Joshua, and before then, the generation of Joshua of Israel, the, the priests after, well, I suppose the prophet after Moses, who leads them into the whole the promised land. They're bearing the sword. And they're hacking, pretty much hacking uh, Canaanites to death to take the land. They're killing them with the sword. You know, cutting heads off and plunging them through guts and through chests and things and cutting arms off and all the gross stuff of military battle they're doing take the promised land. Now God had already declared that this land had already been covenanted to Abraham, that it was land which had been promised to Abraham's seed, and it had been on covenant. And um, because it had been covenant to Abraham and subsequently to Israel, that portion of Abraham's covenanted land had gone to Israel. And because, as we see in the end of Leviticus 18 and 20, they were full of sexual depravity amongst other sins. The Canaanites had fallen into very wicked ways which were not fitting enough for their ongoing life. At least not on Abraham's covenant of land anyway. God allowed Joshua and his army to hack them to death with swords. They built more of a sword. Now, guns kill people. Guns are an elaborate sword, for an elaborate weapon. And when when it comes to the use of guns in armies, in armies of a righteous nation to inflict destruction on a wicked nation, God would be for the use of guns. God allows tyrants and dictators and oppressors to be deposed and those serving them to be deposed and killed if necessary. It's a dirty job, but someone's got to do it. So there is a righteous use of weaponry in the Bible. There is a righteous use of weapons to destroy evil, to bear the sword, to inflict justice on the wicked. God does justify that. So um, guns in America, which is what you could imagine I've been driving at, they have a problem well, apparently a problem with guns. I think they do have a problem with guns. Bearing the sword and having a gun is... You have a right to protect yourself. Humans have a right to protect themselves, and a country like America feels that they need to protect themselves with guns. Now, what I'd like to say is that guns kill people, and they can kill people very easily and quickly. And if you make them too, too accessible... A lot of people can be killed easily and quickly. If they're too accessible to people who are not sound enough in their use of guns, who are not responsible, the kind of people who can kill people and murder them, not bearing the sword and not bearing justice, but murdering innocent people, then it's probably, probably in your nation's best interest to sort of be very careful about who can claim gun ownership and um, use guns because you're having a lot of murders in America and other places in the world probably as well there was a lot of a lot of murder going on a lot of school slaughters and slaughters and in churches and synagogues and mosques and things you know a lot of innocent people are getting killed because I think while the cop and the army man has a right to bear the gun to protect the nation, to punish the wicked. And you, you do have a right to defend yourself. Perhaps the fact that guns can kill people, not just in righteousness, but in wickedness. And that if you access them so, so easily, perhaps that's not for the best. Um... You know, you've got a constitution which says the right to bear arms in America. Uh, 
Australia a while ago after I think it was the Port Arthur massacre with Martin Bryan that madman um, they got got some gun laws to really reduce it right down so while I think Americans probably should have the right to bear arms because it's constitutional and uh, people have a right as far as I'm concerned to defend themselves and if necessarily you need to take out that rifle or that handgun and blow someone away if they're going to threaten your life and your family but really you should probably have not just background checks but proper certificates of training to use guns and to assess that this person is going to be responsible with the firearm because I said as I said guns kill people